usually I try to keep a good balance of good, bad and interesting news. But sometimes the bad take over. So please keep a positive state of mind as I will show you in some cases a costless way to take action if you want. Remember, these videos are not designed to upset you but they are designed to reveal, guide and entertain you. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Hassan and you are watching Weekly Animal News, bringing to you different animal news from around the world. Coming up this week, how to help Arturo the polar bear, animal fossil secrets in a trap cave, how to help a dog died in a furry in Dover, UK, can animal instinct save humans from disasters, sick act of cruelty in South Africa, and an animal rescuer under investigation, all of this coming up and more. How to save Arturo the polar bear This bear is not the polar bear as you know it. It's not the white bear walking in the snow or in ice or even in a cold place. This one is different. Replace the white beautiful color of the bear with a dull one. Add some patches of stain or discoloration to his white beautiful coat. Imagine him sad, lonely and old. This is how Arturo looks like now. It is a very sad picture, but we can do something about it. We can change this. But first, let me answer some questions and let, and let you know what exactly is happening. So first, where is Arturo? Arturo is in a zoo in Argentina. He's not in one of the polar regions. He's suffering the heat there and definitely He's not living in the optimum conditions he should live in. In 2012, another polar bear died in Argentina, in a zoo in Argentina. And this one will die if we didn't do something about it. So let's be positive and do something about it. The, the legal and logical way is to ask the authorities and the government in Argentina to transfer the polar bear to a more suitable conditions which logically is not there. It will be in a country or in a place where they have the optimum weather or at least the optimum facilities. There is a petition you can go and sign, which is asking the government, the Argentinian government to do exactly that. The arguments which you could hear before you sign that petition is that a bear belongs to Argentina. And if a bear belongs to Argentina, it better be a living bear belongs to Argentina and that bear is not going to survive that long there. Other arguments will be why we, can, why we don't help them to build or to provide more suitable conditions. The bear is old and he's not going to survive that long time to build these uh, enclosures or, or facilities. You'll find the link for the petition below. So after the end of this episode, yeah, you have to wait with us to the end of this episode. You can go in the description, get the petition, sign it and do something about it. Petitions work. Last week, an animal was saved and another animal was helped because of these petitions. Maybe it wasn't part of that petition and that successful story, but you can be part of this successful story and help to put pressure on that government to help that bear. So don't forget, at the end of this episode, go to the description below the video, click on that link, sign the petition, help Arturo the polar bear and help people to help him. Next story I want to comment about is about a natural trap cave, which is basically a deep hole in the ground. But this one is really deep and really big. There is two theories here. One is people used to lead animals, beasts, into that trap cave so they trap them there and virtually get rid of them the other one that the that hole in the ground was an on a, a migration route for animals and a lot of animals used to fall there the value here is what kind of animals used to fall there and that is old ancient breeds of animals which is not with us anymore like mammoth certain kinds of lions and and tigers and so on 
So the value is uh, very big in the in the bones they can discover there and they can discover a lot of things about really important uh, parts of animal history and human history in general. Next topic I want to talk about this week is about a dog died in a ferry in a place called Dover in UK. What happened is that an owner left his dog inside a closed car in a ferry in that place and the dog died from the heat and this is just so wrong so what people want to do is they want to ask the government the department of environment food and rural affairs to impose some laws and regulations on on the ferries so stop that from happening in the future so if you agree this is wrong and if you want this to stop from from happening everywhere in the world so let's start with helping this group of people to do that in the uk you can uh, go to the description below you'll find that link for the petition click on it go there sign the petition and help these people uh, to stop this from happening again next topic is about a very interesting question and it is can animal instinct save humans from disasters some of you might know this already or think they know what's happening but what what is new today is during a recent study scientists are closer than before than ever before to know how animals establish that the good news about this study as well that no animals are animals are not subject for testing they are just subject for observation so there is no testing happening uh, so, and th this is anyway this is very important uh, because it, it gave us a very early uh, warning uh, that's one side of the story the second side of the story it shows people how animals are really sensitive and alert of what's happening around them and how they have different senses that we don't have and we need to respect that and consider them as as living beings and a very valuable creatures living with us not just objects or things uh, happens or occurs to be around us in the same place so anyway let's get to the next topic if you are still with me and you didn't leave to sign one of these petitions or you're not interested in what we are saying this is going to be the third and last call of action or call sorry call for action this week and that would be about some sick animal cruelty acts happening in south africa as part of gang rituals and well anyway i'm not gonna read this out for you or describe it because it's really disturbing so if you want to be some kind of animal defender around the world which i encourage you to be as i am trying to be you can find the link for the petition in the description below go click on it read it if you want just try to avoid some well the end of the first or the second first paragraph because there is really bad descriptions there uh, you will be helping people helping animals and stopping animal cruelty and you will feel like kind of an animal defender around the world. Let's get to our last story for this week. The last story is about an animal rescue group, a dog rescue group in specific. An animal rescuer has been under investigation for some time now. Um, the, you can see the title on the screen, so you can go and read the story. Just Google the name and you will, you will get the link there. You can even ask me for the link in the comment below and I'll give it to you. Uh, what I want to say here is my opinion and I'm not accusing anyone of doing anything Helping animals uh, through illegal ways doing things which Logically is wrong under the cause of protecting animals or helping animals or defending animals That is wrong and it's not acceptable and you are not helping animals and you are not helping anyone Actually, you are harming the cause and you are harming animal in this case. It was a rescuer and then when they went to investigate animal cruelty incident, the smell was knocking once they opened the door. It was just so terrible. And that's not a condition for animals to live in. And when they tried to investigate what's happening, the owners of the group or whoever is running the group said they are going to close that down and they're not going to rescue more animals. And then they proceeded doing what they're doing. This action is not helping animals. And at one point or another, he or she is going to turn if they are not already animal hoarders and they are just hurting and harming everyone the human beings the animals and everyone so we just wanted to express um 
uh, my opinion about this because this is really pissing me off. So anyway, we, we came to the end of our episode. You can... Uh, don't forget to sign the three petitions, please. Uh, like our video, that will help us a lot. Subscribe the, to our channel, that will even help us more if you want us to see us doing more of this and improving on it as well. Uh, please don't forget to uh, share the video and share the petitions. Help the animals. Uh, we, we have other episodes and we have other series on the channel. Go and check them out as well. Thank you for watching and see you next